Louisiana Beer Review Citrofantastic. Made with Phantasm. This is uh, all, it says all Citra Hopped Double IPA. This product contains a Citra Fantastic ingredient, Phantasm Hops. Made with Phantasm. Citra Fantastic. So I guess Phantasm is a type of Citra Hop? Citra, because they're saying on the untapped description, which they obviously got from the website, the Seven Tap Brewing Project, which is no longer listed as beer, that they're using Citra and, and Phantasm hops. All right, so there's a television set with some kind of electricity coming out of it. So taped on, you know, and he's, I mean, he's a paper label. Yeah, a local store had this for $1.99. So the normal price is like $4.99 or $5.99. So I got it for $2 basically instead of $5 or $6. Born on December 7th of 2022, Pearl Harbor Day. <laughs> um, so let's check it out. Double IPA from Shreveport, Louisiana. I'd like to visit the 7th Tap Brewing Project. about to spill everywhere as these craft beers tend to do they are usually overfilled we should get an extra half an ounce as soon as you pop the can they're trying to um, you know splash everywhere all right so a thick ivory head I guess you'd say uh, it's milky Yellowish gold, sort of like, you know, unfinished beer, not not put in the bright tank, <laughs> not filtered, and then put in the bright tank. All right, well, anyway, this is the style that's popular. 8.2, right? No, IBU's not listed. Probably not that high. I'm going to try to guess, make a good guess. Yeah, citrusy, bready. It's uh, what we're used to smelling with these. Citrusy, bready, sweet. It's white bread. Eat. Let's go with the flavor. Juicy. And grainy, meaning cereal grain, meaning white bread. Bitterness. Okay, let's go with the bitterness first. My hands are sticky here, so I don't even touch the glass with my right hand from the beer spilling on it. It seems low. The IBU seem very low. Like... One out of five hop cones. True story. IPA, huh? Sweetness level. Very high. Four and a half out of five sugar cubes. Four and a half out of five sugar cubes. The body is high medium. The mouthfeel is chewy and slight. Cereal coagulated, like cereal grains at the bottom of the cereal bowl, the cold cereal bowl with the milk, and this like it's like powder. You know, you get with like oh oh Cheerios, and it's just like coagulated, and with the milk, finish is semi sweet. Say 60% sweet, 40% dry. Um, beer Advocate and Rate Beer only have like one check in each, so there's no score. And there's like 155 on Untapped, and they're scoring it in the 80s. 
it makes sense because the people that buy this kind of beer are going to want this kind of style, you know, so they're going to kind of be in agreement that, oh, it's really sweet, it's got no bitterness, it's juicy, uh, and so they're all going to think it's like an eight, you know. Okay. No crickle crackle. It's so sugary and unpleasant. I'm telling you, uh, there is one of the video review. I'm not going to say who it is, guys, but they, somebody sent him the beer. I bought this. Uh, but um, I don't know what he thought about it. I hadn't watched the video. I'm planning to in a few minutes. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't like it. I don't think it's a good beer. Some of the stuff I've tried from Seven Tap has been mighty fine. Some of it's been mediocre. Some of it's just been no good. And this one is, to me, no good. Uh, and I, I don't want, I don't think it's anything about, oh, it's old, it's a few months old. You should have had it a week after it came out. Yeah, it would have been nice, but I, I don't believe it. Nah. In a can, DIPA, in just a, a few months, Nah. I'll give you an example. I had Brewdog Punk. No. Brewdog Hardcore IPA 11 years ago. Or it may, might have been 10 years ago. But I think it was 2012. That beer was like 5 years old. So it had been on the shelf since like 2007. And it was strong. The bitterness was solid. High IBUs. It had not faded. Was was hard to believe, but uh, it was true. And I got a great deal on it too, because nobody was buying it, so they closed it out for two ninety nine a four pack. Couldn't complain there, right? Fifty cents a bottle. Uh, sorry, that's not right. Seventy five cents. Um, Mm. I'm going to score this, hit the camera, I'm <laughs> hitting the camera with the glass, uh, I'm going to give it a C minus, it's like marginally low average, you know what I mean, like it's a, give it a 72 out of 100, you took a test, you made a C minus, you need to go into some other field. And if this is good beer, I don't want to drink beer. If this is all I could get in beer, I wouldn't drink beer. I just would not drink it. But we know that's not the case. And so I do drink beer regularly every day. But not this. Not this kind of thing. Oh, no. Ugh. Gives me the creeps just thinking about what I just tasted. So I'm being generous. You know, C- is 72 out of 100. I would obviously not recommend it, so that's it. Go to Shreveport and tour the brewery, but their Pilsner is dynamite. Uh, I think it's the Pilsner. Well, I can't remember, but I, I, I have all the scores listed on Beer Advocate and Rate Beer, and you can see which ones I scored high for that company. So anyway, uh, never mind that. Thank you.